Did the U.S. wait too long to arm Ukraine, especially with respect to weapons that could defend against an airstrike like you laid out? Did they wait too long to move U.S. forces to NATO countries? And does the president still view the idea of pre-invasion sanctions as a stupid question? So uh, as to the question of waiting too long on arming the Ukrainians, uh, over the course of the past year, the United States has provided more than half a billion dollars, $650 million in defensive assistance to Ukraine. That's more than has ever been given by any president in any year at any time. And that began uh, more than a year ago under uh, the presidency of Joe Biden. Second, we have made good on the commitment to get those deliveries into the hands of the Ukrainian armed forces. Those are defensive weapons intended to defend Ukraine against aggression. They are not meant for offensive purposes against any country. So we feel uh, very proud of the contribution and commitment that we have had to helping the Ukrainians uh, be able to defend themselves. With respect to the question of the deployment of forces to defend NATO territory, our view is that in addition to the 80,000 strong U.S. force presence in Europe today, that showing in Poland and Romania in particular, but also through uh, the deployment of air squadrons to the Baltics, as we had a few days ago, and other significant moves we've made, a carrier uh, in the Mediterranean that for the first time in 30 years actually flew the NATO flag as well as the American flag, uh, that we have been forward-leaning and robust in defending and reassuring our NATO allies. And you don't have to take it from me. You can talk to the president of Poland or the president of Romania about the satisfaction they have with the fact that the United States has stepped up alongside other NATO allies uh, to deter and reassure uh, and reinforce uh, our presence along the eastern flank. Yeah. Yeah. What about the pre-invasion sanctions? You didn't answer that part of my question. Is the president looking at sanctions ahead of an invasion any differently than he has been up until this point, given the escalation that we're seeing from Russia? The president believes that sanctions are intended to deter, and in order for them to work to deter, they have to be set up in a way where if Putin moves, then the costs are imposed. We believe that that is the right logic, uh, both on its own merits, but equally importantly, we believe that the most important fundamental for anything that unfolds in this crisis, whether through dip diplomacy or as a result of military action, is that the West be strong, be united, and be determined to operate with common purpose. And he believes that the sanctions approach he's taken in lockstep with our European partners, the Canadians and others, puts us in a position for the West to be able to respond to this contingency in the most united and purposeful way possible. That will pay dividends for us in this circumstance, but it will also pay enormous strategic div dividends for the United States in the years and decades. Ahead.